747-8, the largest airliner the company has yet built, is making its Paris Air Show debut. The newest Boeing four-engine aircraft is the fastest airliner in the sky. The newest version of the aircraft can carry 51 more passengers or 23 tons more freight than the previous version and do it by burning the same amount of fuel. Today, Captain Steve Taylor and lead test pilot Mark Feuerstein, two of the pilots who flew the 747-8 from Seattle to Paris, are going to walk us around it and tell us what makes it so fuel efficient and technologically advanced. Yeah, tell me about the wing aerodynamics compared to the other airplane. Well, it's a supercritical wing, yeah. and you can see by looking at the trailing edge of the wing mm -hmm. how the wing is different compared to 400. There's some extra curvature there that didn't used to exist. You didn't have that trailing edge cusp that no, you did in the last that's airplane. that's correct. It's a supercritical airfoil, not unlike what we have on the 787. Mm -hmm. What kinds of uh, aerodynamic improvements did you add to the 787 compared to the legacy aircraft like the 777 and yeah. the 76? On the 747-8, right. Well, there's the high lift on both the leading edge and the trailing edge is completely different than it was on the 747-400. We've simplified it mechanically, yet improved the aerodynamic performance. And then in the cruise department, of course, we have this supercritical airfoil that reduces the drag on the airplane and contributes to the approximate 16% in improved efficiency. Uh, Steve, you have brand new engines on the aircraft too, don't you? We do, and that also is part of the efficiency, but one of the things he had skipped on the wing, we kept the same sweep and we kept the highest cruise Mach number of anything in the air. So this airplane is still a Mach 855 airplane, fastest thing flying. So, so let's we'll go walk towards the back of the engine. Sure. And we'll talk a little bit about noise. So the engine is a GE Gen X engine. The derived from the engine that we delivered or developed rather for the 787. Uh -huh. So we get a lot of the efficiency gains. This one does have bleed air that the 787 doesn't. But one of the features that uh, we did bring over are these scallops that help us control both community noise and cabin noise. Uh, that's interesting. I noticed that uh, several new engines have the scallops on the fan duct. What is the purpose of the scallop in terms of noise reduction? Well, the biggest thing is it takes out the buzz saw, that sort of growling noise that you get on board the airplane. These are designed to help dissipate that particular buzzing noise. How much quieter are the engines, the GENX engines on this airplane, compared to the engines on the Dash 400, your last airplane? Let me talk to that, Fred. It's not just the engines. It's the entire engine airframe combination. And on this airplane, we're about 30% quieter than a 747-400. That's a big number. Well, it sounds to me like this is going to be a much better airport neighbor than the previous airplane was. Absolutely. Not only is it a better neighbor, but it'll fit in all of the same airports that the 747-400 fits in. Uh, you told me before that the airplane has a wider wingspan than the 400. How much wider is the wingspan? Yeah, the wingspan went up from about 213 feet to about 225 feet. It's really quite a small change if you think about it. And is that the key to allowing it to use the existing airport facilities, the fact that the wingspan is essentially the same? The wingspan is essentially the same. As you know, it's about six meters longer than the 400, but the wheelbase is only about 12 feet or three meters longer. So the changes are really incremental compared to the 400. Yeah. Underneath the wing to body joint, behind us. You can see kind of a ledge area here and where there's a little bit of a, a rectangle shape and then also on the forward leading edge the way that the uh, area forward, the glove area forward is, is a little bit different than the 400. With a 975,000 pound maximum takeoff weight, what did you have to do to the undercarriage and the brakes? Yeah. The, the rolling stock on the airplane, the undercarriage, has been increased the wheels are about two inches larger diameter than they are on a 400. The brakes are new, carbon brakes, they're, it's a new buildup of the brake. The wheels are a little bit bigger. All of it incrementally changed to step up really from the 747-400 ERF, the 910K airplane, which of course was 910,000 pounds. So it's really kind of a small change in weight. What we've really done, I think where the efficiencies come in, are how we've improved the structure from a structural efficiency standpoint. So while the weight change is modest, the efficiency gain is quite large.
cockpit of this aircraft has changed from the previous generation 747? Sure, well the main emphasis on the flight deck of this airplane was to keep the commonality with the 400. So the, the vast majority of it you'll see is, is pretty much identical. The overhead panel and whatnot is pretty much identical. Uh, it only takes three days of training to move from a 400 into this airplane and the training doesn't require any simulator at all, it's just CBT. So really the differences are quite small. The differences are some real advantages that we leveraged from both the 777 and from the uh, 787 as well. We have uh, electronic flight bags built in, they're fully integrated into the airplane. We've added electronic checklists, uh, which were developed originally on the 777. We've added an airport moving map display, which is up here, which is a really terrific tool. Uh, we've added synop synoptic displays that also came back from the 777. So a lot of the newer technology we've been able to introduce on the airplane. For example, here's the flight, con flight control synoptic display. Shows the position of each of the flight, co flight controls. Uh, when you're doing your sweeps before takeoff, that lets you see it. We have uh, environmental system synoptics. We have fuel tank synoptics. Several different, all the major systems of the airplane, we have a synoptic. So this is an airport moving map display. It shows the position of the airplane overlaid on the actual uh, airport diagram, which is highly accurate and shows each one of the taxiways. This is a terrific tool for us. Another feature that we've added is called a vertical situation display. The vertical situation display shows the uh, position of the airplane, our flight path in a vertical sense, and any terrain that's out in front of us. It's a really good planning tool for vertical operation during descents. Everything uh, gives you a, a real good cute clue where the airplane is going to be relative to the ground. This is the entire before start checklist. That's all the items. These airplanes, compared to what we've seen in some of the uh, corporate airplanes, it's incredible to me how simple these airplanes are to operate. Basically, the systems are designed to be very uh, intuitive, and, and uh, the checklist requirements are really minimal. When you're flying the airplane, how does this airplane feel? Does it feel any different than the legacy 747s? Uh, to my hands, no. Uh, I'm not, I don't fly the airplanes enough to be able to tell the difference. Some of the flight test guys can immediately identify it, but the differences are really pretty subtle. I think line pilots will be able to jump in this airplane and feel comfortable right out of the, right out of the gate. This airplane can carry 100,000 pounds more weight than the previous heavy 747. How does that affect the runway performance, the reference speeds, takeoff speeds, and uh, takeoff distance? Sure, well, really the differences are quite small, surprisingly small. The, the wing is more efficient, and we have higher thrust engines. So the result is that the takeoff performance is almost the same for a given set of conditions, and the landing speeds are virtually identical. Boeing 747 now has been in production for more than four decades. The latest version, 747-8, is the most efficient ever. Boeing has announced 38 orders for the all-passenger version prior to the Paris Air Show and an additional 17 right here in Paris. It also has 76 orders for the cargo version and more in the works. With an initial order book like that, this looks like another runaway bestseller.